Hello, today I'm going to show you another strategy in PTD 6 for chimps, and this is with the Carpet of Spikes. So the Carpet of Spikes is a bit of a goofy tower, probably because it's not very good, but there are some things that it can work well with, and when we pair it with some certain towers, which I'll show you later on, it actually can work out decently well. And of course, uh, this is a tower where you can't really use it in the early game, so we're going to have an early game carry, and let's just get into what it's what it does so the carpet of spikes is a really weird tower because it will do damage to like certain kinds of areas of wounds but then like do literally nothing to everything else so what it will take out is that it will usually take out the zmgs pretty well and some of like the balloons that are coming out first and then it also works really well against the ddts in round 100 um and then what it's really bad is bad at is like big waves of BFBs because there's just too much RBE that it uh, can't deal with. It's good at taking out like the top layers of stuff, but once those big waves of BFBs come in, they'll roll right through. So usually there's like a lot of towers that will actually pair well with this. Um, it's definitely not the best tower in uh, any situation by any means, but you can, if you want to and tr want to try something different, you definitely can get this to work in a lot of situations. So here I have a game of um, Cornfield. I did a little bit of a funky extra challenge by doing the No Harvest achievement with it. Normally I would not recommend that, but I uh, get a mid game and I get just an overdrive embrittlement because I'll be using these guys later. And I'll get something just to clear out some of these balloons, which will be for me a um, Juggernaut. Uh, on like every other map you definitely would not want to use this you would want to use like a few cluster bombs or a recursive cluster but basically this will when we use our abilities this will carry us into um the carpet of spikes pretty well and now it's just going to do pretty well it's going to spew with the spikes on its own and we should not really have that many issues until around 80 psi is going to level up and we're going to be using psi to uh our advantage you can use other heroes like etienne that will clear up the giant waves of like bfbs that um what is it the carpet of spikes won't be able to get so heroes like that so like sire etienne would work really well maybe even churchill if the map is really good with churchill but we're gonna have that going and then we're just gonna get some support and then i'm gonna buy uh some of these other tier fives to help with these large clumps. So I ended up going with tax zone and then I supported with an embrittlement. Obviously if you had more space you could swap this out with like more standard support that would be cheaper and easier to get. So like Moab glue, um not really May Moab because May Moab uh would attack the stuff that the carpet of spike kills. So like some Moab presses maybe would work really well to push those ZMGs back and um maybe even a sabo i don't know just some basic support but you won't really have a issue with round 100 because it will take it around 100 pretty well so that's really it there's not much you just use your abilities and spend the extra cash and that will get a um fairly decent win with the carpet of spikes